Howdy, this is Ryan with Geek Ranch. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, Logitech uh, wireless headset for PC. The G933 Artemis Spectrum Snow graciously uh, sent to me and Josh for a review by our friend uh, Brian. And uh, I'll be doing an unboxing and then uh, a review of audio quality and comfort and then follow up with a uh, microphone quality uh, assessment. So let's get started on that. Hey everybody, this is Ryan with Geek Ranch, and today I'm going to be doing a couple of uh, headphone, uh, head PC headset uh, unboxings and then later reviews. And I'm going to start with the uh, Logitech G933s here, which uh, are actually completely wireless. And uh, I'm going to open up the box here and just show you what comes in the box. This I really like. This is a nice setup. The way that they have the little molded case, and then here the nice stark like Arctic white headphones sitting in there. So take them out. <clears throat> there they are. You know, uh, completely self-contained and looking nice. And then set these aside. And uh, underneath this molded case, you've got a uh, little instructional diagram and a neat little blue box with all of your connectors in there. You've got uh, your, uh, let's see where we got, a nice, uh, like, braided, you know, cloth braided uh, charging cable uh, because these are wireless and they charge just, you know, via USB. So here's the, uh, the cable itself. It's got that nice braiding to it. I really like, you know, so maybe it won't split as much. And uh, you know, this little comes with a little, three and a half uh, cable and a nice Y splitter too that's kinda neat that they include that and uh, of course the three and a half so you can use it for you know standard uh, devices your cell phone or mp3 player or whatever also comes with a uh, an adapter for uh, you know you got three and a half in on this one side and then the uh, smaller standard I can't remember what the exact measurement is on that <clears throat> it's kind of nice to have the adapter though if you're going to be using it on something that you know a little tiny yeah so that's what's in that box is just the extra cables i'm not going to be charging it so i'm not going to be needing these or anything but this is a nice lengthy really nice quality usb cable you know here's the uh micro end that charges the headphones that's really nice quality i think that's cool to put that in there Move that out of the way, and then you just got your little IKEA style, you know, step by step how to uh, set them up and whatnot, basic features. So the headphones themselves are, you know, have a, a pretty good heft to them, and uh, you know, nice thick, cushiony ear pads. You know, not too firm. They. Uh, they have a really good feel, you know, the uh, the plastic, you know, feels nice and solid. The, now, the other thing really feels chintzy about it. You've got a lot of uh, buttons on your, uh, what would this be, your left side right there. I'm not sure if you can see them very good. There you go. Your volume control on the bottom and then a bunch of preset buttons. And uh, they swivel real nice. They're just, you know, really solid quality. So, and they look really sharp. On the bottom, you've got your three and a half, and the charging port, and the ear panels here are held on magnetically, and pop right off really easy. There's a little magnet in the corner there. See that? And uh, this side is, I believe, the battery pack. This is where you would charge it, or this is what you know gets charged, and then the plate just snaps right back on. That's really cool. If nice and positive and on this side I think this is really neat you pull this side off again magnetic and here's the USB dongle that you put into your computer and communicates you know with the headphones you just pop it in your computer it's pretty plug-and-play and you just keep it in there for uh, so you don't lose the damn thing if you're taking them somewhere if I can place the thing in there right there we go and then uh, instead of using like little clasps it's just it's magnetic and it clicks. That's really nice. That's a neat. I was not expecting, you know, magnet clips, but that's pretty nice. So that's basically all that you get in the box. So I'm going to kind of reassemble it here. Here we go. And then a little 
display. And then your headphones pop right in there. There we go. And there it is. Cool. So I'm going to move on now to the other headphones that I've gotten and set up reviews. Okay, and now I'm going to take a look at the uh, Logitech G933s. Um, again, I'm using the, uh, the microphone on the headset now instead of the uh, stand mic. And uh, just to talk about the auto quality of these really quick. Uh, these sound excellent. I haven't used a lot of wireless headphones in the past, but they do sound really good. You know, uh, I like that uh, you can move around and you don't have a cable. It's not really a big deal to me, but it's still kind of neat to feel that uh, that freedom. You know, I find myself still looking to move a cable out of the way when it's not there. So I have listened uh, to a lot of music on these. I've played a lot of games with them, and uh, it's, it's neat because you can kind of forget that they're there because you don't have a cable draped across you or anything, you know, but, uh, and they do sound very good, you know, they, they have really good low response, um, uh, the clarity is, is pretty good, you know, um, I've, I've had better dedicated headphones, you know, of course, that were wired, but I think for wireless, these do sound really good, and of course, they're, they, uh, have a, uh, I believe it's emulated surround uh, 5.1. Uh, the microphone sounds sounds really good. You know, it's it's really clear. Um, I I've recorded a little bit and listened to it. Um, they're comfortable. Uh, they are you know not too uh, heavy. They don't squeeze uh, too hard on your head. If you've ever used any um, uh, Skull Candy uh, headsets, uh, specifically the over ear cans that they have. You'll know um, what I'm talking about. You know, the headphones can really squeeze your skull. But uh, they uh, have pretty pretty thick padding, you know, that you do feel the weight a little bit. I can feel it right here, uh, most right underneath the uh, my ears or the start of my jaw. I can kind of feel a little bit of, of weight, a little bit of a squeeze, you know. So after like an hour or so, it kind of does, you know, I, I want to remove them and take them off because they have weight. Because they have a, you've got a battery pack on one side and the other side you've got... Uh, you know the where the uh, USB dongle goes and everything. They they're wireless. You know they have a lot of uh, stuff in them, so that's understandable and it's not really too bad. Uh, these uh, this headset ha comes with oh excuse me doesn't come with you download from Logitech's website a really cool software suite and let me just get that uh, going here. So there it is, um, and it sits in your system tray. You know and and stays out of the way. You know you bring it up. Um, It'll uh, show your headphones. You can manage your lighting, which is another cool thing. You can't see it because they're in the back for whatever reason that I don't know. Um, you can have different colors uh, pulsating or, or like breathing. Uh, you can change the uh, the intensity and the and the color. You can have it cycle colors. Uh, it's a little LED strip in the back of them, and it has the G on the side too. You know that uh, that lights up. Um, I think that's a neat feature. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I, I suppose if somebody's watching you, they can kind of enjoy it. But, I mean, even if you're recording like I am now, um, you you can't see the lighting. So it's really not for you, I guess. You know, I guess it's for other people to enjoy. It's still it's kind of neat. It's eye candy. Um, as you can see on the software here, there's uh, you've got several buttons on the left side. It's, it's going to be hard to see because I'm wearing it right now. But you have your power button on the top. And then you have three... Uh, buttons. Uh, one of them will cycle through your audio presets that you can program in the software. Uh, another one of them will, I believe, uh, activate surround or turn it off. And uh, and the other button is uh, for lighting. Yeah, there you got lighting uh, presets, and then your surround. And then down below you have a little volume dial, uh, which is really nice. It's a it feels nice. It goes. Uh, pretty flush with everything else. Um, I really like having the volume right on your ear there and not having to mess with the system tray. So another cool thing is you can you can save, you can do a custom EQ profile and save it to the headphones themselves and take it with you. So if you take them somewhere else, plug them into another computer, it will save a couple of those profiles for you. You can save lighting profiles too. So the software uh, is, is really neat. Here's the uh, 7.1 window. This is cool too. Um, this is something that the uh, Sennheisers that uh, I reviewed also doesn't have. Um, 
you can change the type of surround that you've got. You can change the emulated speaker distance, you know, so if you want to like a little more in the fronts or the rears or sides, you can do that, you know, adjust your room experience as it were. Um, it's really full featured software and I like it. I, I really wish uh, that the Sennheisers came with, a, you know, kind of a more robust software, but what it has, you know, works completely fine, you know. Um, so very full featured software, uh, very good audio quality with the Logitechs. Uh, they're, they sure are cool looking too, you know, they're stark white, they have the cool lights. Um, the microphone sounds very good. Um, the, these, uh, I, I would definitely recommend these, especially if you're got a, if you're a stickler for wireless, you know, uh, because it, it is really very easy to use. You just, you take the dongle, uh, out of the uh, left side ear muff, which I still think is really cool. You have the man magnetic door, you know, you pull it off and you pop the thing in. Once you've installed the software, uh, that's it. And you're completely free and they sound very good. The microphone sounds very good and they're pretty comfortable. But like I said, half an hour 45 minutes you know they they do um start to not fatigue you know but they, they just kind of start to you start to feel that weight and i at least have to take them off and kind of get away from them for a minute but these are very solid headphones i like the way they look sound and feel um so i would i would definitely recommend them if uh wireless is a, is a must for you uh, and also the, the the software the software has a ton of features it's excellent so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.